to SMOMO TV. I'm Frank Murphy. And I'm Abby Vieira, and this is The Daily Hub. It's a chance for you to see everything that's going on in the Great Smokies and beyond. Well, I love the Smokies. There's so much to do here, and I like the activities. I like being able to go to the restaurants and go to the shows and always finding something to do all the time, every day. I'm with you, and the shopping is <laughs> the best. But I definitely have to say my number one thing about the Smokies would probably be the food. The restaurants are second to none. You're surrounded by all this lush landscape. It's fantastic. And if you want to find out everything that's going on, you're in the right place. SmomoTV.com, of course, is our website. And even if you just want to get outside and relax in Mother Nature's beauty, of course, many, many people choose to do that. They want to get away from it all, and that's why the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the most visited of all the national parks in the United States. That's right. And if you're looking for all these recreational activities, you'll definitely want to stay tuned because Taz Cable is going to have our rec report. Mm -hmm. Every day, a different thing for you to do in and around the Smoky Mountains. All sorts of fun, all sorts of activity. Taz also brings us the daily AM Top 10, which is the top stories ranked in Taz order, which <laughs> is something special in and of its own self. That's so true. And you guys, of course, can always tune in for this at SMOMO TV right here on the Daily Hub. It's fun out here, and let's see why. to eat in the Smokies, I guarantee it. Hi, you're watching SMOMO TV. This is The Daily Hub. I'm Frank Murphy, and I know it's winter outside, but we're already thinking about spring in the Smoky Mountains because the Dogwood Arts Festival is already on the horizon, believe it or not. Coming up this week, they are going to announce the lineup for the Rhythm and Blooms Festival, which is a festival of Americana music that takes place midway through the Dogwood Arts Festival in April. Also, this week, coming up on President's Day weekend, they have their biggest fundraiser of the year for the festival. It's called the Dogwood Arts House and Garden Show, where you get to learn how to grow a dogwood tree, how to make great food, how to redecorate your house. They've got tons of booths, tons of uh, celebrity guests, all sorts of fun and excitement. That takes place at the Knoxville Convention Center right next door to the Sun Sphere. And then the big thing happens itself. When we get to Easter weekend, in fact, on Good Friday, April 6th, is when the Dogwood Trails officially open for 2012. These are the trails that are marked all around Knoxville, north, south, east, and west. Pink stripes painted right on the street. You drive along and you see the best dog wood blossoms in all of the area and those we're very proud of those here in East Tennessee and Western North Carolina this is absolutely dogwood country and then the dogwood arts festival continues with great excitement and great events on Market Square like the sidewalk chalk artists there's a parade down Gay Street with huge helium filled balloons it's a huge event and it happens every spring here on the Smoky Mountains and we want you to be a part of it so get all that information on our website at smomotv.com and remember you're watching the, the daily hub on Smomo TV it's fun out here. Introducing Tony Roma's new bistro menu. Savor our new filet medallions with your choice of three toppings like Cabernet Demi Glaze, Blue Cheese Crust, Barbecue Onions, Horseradish Crust, or Peppercorn Sauce. Try our new Caesar Wedge Chopped Salad or a new bistro burger. And finish your meal with one of Tony's delicious mini desserts. Our new bistro menu and your favorite table await you at Tony Roma's Ribs, Seafood, and Steaks. Congratulations, you are watching SMOMO TV and this is The Daily Hub. That's right, and one of the things that we have for you every day on The Daily Hub is the Rec Report with Mr. Taz Cable. Now, I do have to tell you, it's yeah. Rec as in recreation, <laughs> not the Rec Report. Although, if so. you see people tubing down there in the summertime, they do wreck right into each other. But it's like bumper boats, so it's okay. That's true. And if you want to know about tubing or all of the other recreational activities around here, well, Mr. Taz is going to tell you a little bit more about it. Take it away, Taz. Hey guys, for the uh, rec report today, um, it is, uh, it's a good day to be out and about, I guess. Um, it, it's 12 
inch to a 24 inch base at Obergatlinburg. Five to nine trails are open and it is machine groomed and they're not making snow today, but they will make snow as weather is permitting. So you want to check back with them all week long. The Little River in Townsend is 46 degrees today, two and uh, 2.02 feet of water. <laughs> And 214 CFS, a 722 sunrise this morning, making a 618 sunset this afternoon, and zero rainfall in the last 24 hours. I'll have your full weather report on the AM Top 10, guys, coming up next. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Excellent job. And as always, you can check this out on SmomoTV.com. We appreciate you watching The Daily Hub on Smomo TV. It's fun out here. Some believe the mountains have magical powers. Must be something in the water. Come see America's number one aquarium, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and discover the brand new Penguin Playhouse. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Koontz, host of Knives Live TV. If you're not watching Knives Live TV each and every week, here's a little sample of what you've been missing. Tune in to Knives Live TV every Tuesday and Friday evening from 9 till midnight Eastern, 6 to 9 Pacific. See the latest in collectibles, tactical, survival, and military blades. Catch the fever, fun, and live shopping that is Knives Live TV every Tuesday and Friday night from 9 till midnight Eastern, 6 to 9 Pacific on DirecTV Channel 320, Dish TV Channel 224. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Avi and Frank on The Daily Hub, where you can get all of the latest and greatest information that's going around in the Smokies. You know, I love current events and I like to know what's going on here and in the entertainment world and all over the place, but I've never actually ranked the stories in order of importance, or especially not in Taz Cable's order of importance. That's why we have the AM Top 10 with Taz Cable. Taz, take it away. What are the top stories today? Hey guys, that's right, the AM Top 10 today. Um, you know, the weather is partly to mostly sunny with temperatures warming rapidly into the mid to upper 50s today. It's going to be 59 degrees today, 36 tonight, and 56 tomorrow for the high. Dancing with the Stars was not was last night, and uh, congratulations to um, the Dixie Stampede's head honcho ringleader. He actually won the dancing competition. And then we got another uh, workplace... Um, Workplace hostility story out of California and the FBI. It's uh, today on the AM Top 10. And uh, it's Friday. Get out and play today. Um, we'll be here with you all weekend long. Don't forget about that. And I'm, um, I'm going to be here with you all weekend long. I don't know about you guys, but for now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> Fantastic. I might have put two and three into the other order. I don't know. <laughs> It's always interesting the way that it's put together, and of course you can see that every day here on The Daily Hub. This is SMOMO TV. It's fun out here. This summer, Dollywood unleashes Barnstormer. Fly by the seat of your pants. Hello, you're watching the Daily Hub Report on Smomo TV. I'm Abby Vieira. City commissioners have given the go-ahead to form the Convention and Visitors Bureau in Gatlinburg. So the CVB, as it's more familiarly known, will help eliminate confusion for meeting planners and guests while in Gatlinburg. And it's also going to help eliminate a duplication of efforts. Everything is planning and uh, going ahead, so it should be all set to roll out in the next 90 days. For SMOMO TV, I'm Abby Vieira. Welcome back to the Daily Hub Report with Frank and Abby. You know, Frank, I'm so thrilled because I am such a fan of roller coasters. Really? Are you and an American coaster enthusiast? Well, I don't know that I'm a That's, member of that. You'd be a card-carrying member if you no, were. No, and, and that would be a whole lot cooler. But let me tell you something. We're all going to want to get our card-carrying membership 
once we see this. Wild Dolly. Eagle is the new attraction coming to Dollywood starting March 24th. This is a one of a kind roller coaster for the United States, the first of its kind in the US. It's a wing coaster where you'll be hanging off the wings of this roller coaster with nothing above you and nothing below you. So now you can fly higher than an eagle. <laughs> You're gonna wanna add some time to your Smoky Mountain stay because not only at uh, Dolly, Dollywood do you have that, but just down the road at Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary. And I heard that there's gonna be prizes if you're the 25th person to come in. Or the 250th. Or the 25,000th? Yes, 250,000th as well. That's a lot of thousands awesome. and guests and 25,000th, 25th, 100th. Anything that starts with 25 and has zeros after it, you're in luck. But they're going to be celebrating all year, so definitely make sure to plan to check that out. And also, just nearby in Gatlinburg at the number one aquarium, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies, they've opened a great new exhibit about the perfect predator, the shark. That's right. So it's shark attack happening at Ripley's. <laughs> you get to put your hand inside a fake shark belly and see what sort of weird things they eat. Like, you remember, remember Jaws when they that. ate the license plates yes, and all that stuff? Yes. Well, they've got that represented at Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies, and you can stick your head inside and see what a hammerhead uh, shark would look like with those funny eyes on the side of their head. See, this is the reason why you guys keep coming back to the Smokies, and you want to extend your vacation, because there's obviously a lot going on around here. And we've got all that information for you year-round right here on Smomo TV. It's fun out here. Bubbles, no ah, troubles. Holla at your boy. Going down. Represent. Well, there you have it. Another daily hub on SMOMO TV. I'm Frank Murphy. And I'm Abby Vieira. This has been fun. We've seen the rec report with Taz Cable. We've seen the weather. And, of course, you can keep seeing all of this all throughout the day on SMOMOTV.com. This daily hub report is about to repeat an update here on the hub. But you can also check out all the latest information on your smartphones. Before we start over again, you'll see a QR code. Scan it with your smartphone, and you'll be connected to SMOMO TV for all the latest information about the Smoky Mountains. Don't go anywhere, because we're going to bring you more from SMOMO. I'm Frank Murphy. And I'm Abby Vieira. And this is SMOMO TV. It's fun out here.